where do we get energy to work and play? Dear, we get this energy from the food we eat. It also helps in repairing the damaged cells, helps us to grow and to reproduce. The materials in the food which help us to remain healthy are known as nutrients. However, all the food that we eat does not contain the same nutrients. To make our body fit and healthy, to work and play, we must eat a balanced diet. The food we eat daily is our diet, a diet which contains all the nutrients in correct proportion as required by the body is called a balanced diet. The various nutrients needed by our body are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Carbohydrates are the most common food nutrients. These nutrients give energy during respiration. The rich sources of carbohydrates are sugar, potato, cereals like rice, wheat, etc. Protein helps the body to grow and to repair the damaged cells. The rich sources of proteins are pulses, milk, meat, chicken, fish, eggs, etc. For infants, proteins are available in mother's milk. Fats also provide energy to the body. Same quantity of fats compared to carbohydrates provides almost double the energy. They give structure to our cells. They are the only nutrients that can be stored in the body for future use. Rich sources of fats are cooking oils, butter, ghee, nuts, egg yolk, etc. However, nearly 70% of our body's energy needs are met through carbohydrates. Vitamins protect our body from diseases and keep us healthy and strong. There are nearly 15 kinds of vitamins which are needed by our body. The deficiency or excess of any particular vitamin may lead to a disease. Like vitamins, minerals also are neither energy-giving foods nor building blocks of the body. But our body needs them for proper growth. They are required in very small quantities. The rich sources of minerals are common salt, fruits, green leafy vegetables, whole grains, cereals, jaggery and milk. Apart from these nutrients, our body also needs adequate amount of water and roughage. Water is neither an energy yielding nor a body building substance, but it is very much needed by the body to perform many chemical reactions. It also regulates our body temperature. The part of food that is not digested by the body is known as roughage. It is not a nutrient but is very much needed by the body. It helps in regulating bowel movement and also to retain water in the body. Dahlia, broken wheat, whole grains, pulses and salads are the best sources of roughage. Along with the healthy food, exercise, rest and correct body posture are also necessary for a healthy living. Regular exercise makes the body fit and the muscles active. Exercise can burn extra fat of the body and makes us slim. It makes the heart beat faster and improves blood circulation. We sweat a lot during exercise which makes the body cool and clean. Studying or working for long hours makes the body weak and inefficient. To make the body regain the strength, the body has to be given rest. During resting time, the brain gets complete rest, the heart beats slower and the muscles relax. Sitting straight or standing straight is good because by doing so, we breathe in more oxygen and we look graceful. A defect or abnormality of the body is called a disease. This may be due to some microorganisms, germs or malfunctioning in the body. Disease causing organisms are known as pathogens. The diseases which can be transmitted from one person to another through a living or a non-living agent are called communicable diseases. Living agents like viruses, bacteria, protozoa, fungi, etc. can cause communicable diseases. Non-living agents can also cause them. The non-living agents which cause diseases through transmission are air, water and soil. They only transmit a disease from one person to another but don't actually cause the disease. Disease transmitted by air are called airborne diseases. For example, common cold, 
TB, measles, etc. Waterborne diseases are typhoid, cholera, jaundice, etc. Diseases caused through direct contact are AIDS, hepatitis B, etc. Living organisms which transmit the diseases are called vectors or carriers. For example, mosquito is a vector for malaria, dengue, elephantiasis and Japanese encephalitis. Diseases caused by viruses, AIDS, rabies, mumps, measles, common cold, chicken pox, hepatitis. Diseases caused by bacteria, typhoid, TB, tetanus, cholera, diphtheria, leprosy. Diseases caused by fungi, skin infections. Diseases caused by protozoans, malaria, sleeping sickness. All the communicable diseases can be avoided by keeping our surroundings clean and by maintaining good hygiene. This prevents the breeding of flies and mosquitoes. It also prevents water and food from being contaminated. The diseases which cannot be transmitted from one person to another are called non-communicable diseases. For example, all vitamins and mineral deficiency diseases, heart diseases, diabetes, etc. Amazing fact! There are a million viruses per milliliter of sea water. The name virus was coined from the Latin word meaning slimy liquid or poison. The biggest known virus is Mimi virus, which is 0.0004 millimeter in diameter. And the smallest known virus is Procine sarcovirus which is 17 nanometer in diameter. Different nutrients perform different functions in our body. Lack of one or more nutrients in our diet or intake of insufficient amount of food may cause deficiency diseases. For example, protein deficiency causes a disease called Kwashiorkor. Deficiency of protein and carbohydrate lead to a disease called Marasmus. Different vitamins and minerals have different functions. Their deficiency in the diet causes various disorders which has been listed here. Deficiency diseases can be prevented if we take a balanced diet which has all the essential nutrients required for a good health. It is a method for preventing germs from causing disease. Even when they enter the body, a vaccine is an injection or oral drops when vaccine is taken, the body cells become alert immediately and produce substances which can fight the germs. Vaccines are specific for every disease. The power of the body to fight against diseases is known as immunity. For example, vaccines are available for diseases like cholera, typhoid, tetanus, polio, measles, chickenpox and TB. Most of these are taken in the form of injection but polio vaccine is taken orally. So far, there is no vaccine for AIDS disease. Let us summarize. A diet is said to be balanced if all the nutrients are present in correct proportion. Energy is needed to do work and we get energy from the food we eat. Food consists of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals which are together known as nutrients. Carbohydrates and fats are energy-giving foods, whereas proteins are body-building foods. Water and roughage are important for proper digestion and other functions. Minerals and vitamins are neither energy-giving nor body-building nutrients, but they are very essential for proper growth and functioning of our body. If the nutrients are not in proper proportion, they may lead to deficiency diseases. Diseases are of two types, communicable and non-communicable diseases. Pathogens are disease-causing organisms. They may be viruses, bacteria, protozoans, fungi, etc. Diseases can be spread through air, water, soil, insect bite or even by direct contact. 